Hey, Cal here. Look what I got. Yeah, I f managed to get the uh, new Dark Vengeance starter set. Um, I know there's already been a lot of people on YouTube who have, you know, already done their reviews of this, but of course, I'm going to be doing, I'm basically going to tell you what I think of the starter set in a series of three or four videos. <laughs> Um, pretty much first uh, first two are going to be on the armies, third one, everything together, and what I think of the new rules, and especially on how I am going to use them. Considering almost every unit, from bikes, to jump infantry, to flying monstrous creatures, i.e. demon princes, are all better. Which I don't really understand why people are saying that Chaos Space Marines are the worst codex now, because there are ways to make them so powerful. But anyways, I'm not going to go on about that. I'm sure that you guys are going to want to see the starter set. Be aware, this is not the, you know, this is. there's already a lot of reviews out there of this. So they're better than this one. But I'm just going to tell you what I think of it. And this first is going to be on, well, these guys. This was the main reason why I got the starter set. It was for the Chaos Space Marines. Mainly, that thing. I know it's going to be a little shaky, the camera, but thankfully YouTube has this new thing to where it actually motion tracks and, and stops the shakiness. But the frame still shakes. So I apologize if, you know, I have a, this right here, which is a little holder so I can slide from side to side. It's made out of some Hero Factory stuff. It, it's, it works perfectly for this. It's good for single models. So I'm going to tell you what I think of each unit and special models in the unit. In the units and yeah. Let me get some better lighting. That's better. <laughs> yeah, I'm still having a lighting issue. Um, I'll be fixing it up very soon. So I'm going to just go from top to bottom. I'm going to put this into the little holder. Like so, I'll slide you this way. I'm going to show you the close combat cultus. Now one thing that I noticed about the Chaos Space Marines in, in the starter set were we're getting cultus finally. Uh, this is something that we've that we've been asking for for a long time. Uh, a lot of Chaos Space Marine players have been begging for Trader Guard or at least Cultists, at least bringing them back. And it looks like we got our wish. This is the Close Combat uh, ver uh, unit. There are two different units. There's the Close Combat Cultists and then the more ranged Cultists. Example: These guys have close combat weapon and an auto pistol, which is another note. They're bringing, they brought back, they're bringing back auto weapons, more auto, more auto weapons, such as auto guns and auto pistols, which is good for chaos because it's making, it'll make them a little more uh, unique, a little more, so they're basically not bringing everything over from the Space Marine Codexes. Chaos Space Marines are starting to get their own, their own set of weapons. Although still having, you know, especially for the space marines, you know, they still have the bolt guns and, and whatnot, but you know, now we have auto auto guns and auto pistols. Now this is the cult champion, or the cultist champion, which I don't really know what equipment he would have. What equip what weapons does he have? Let's grab it. He has two close combat weapons. If you want to be specific, that's an, that's a power axe, or that could be considered a power axe, but it's not a power axe. I don't know if cultists are going to get made out of power weapons, but you could consider that a power axe, simply because, well, I'll explain it in the overall starter ship video. 
So he has two close combat weapons. And I gotta say, I love this model. This cultist model. I love that. He looks like a he looks like a tech priest. Or a dark mechanicus tech priest without servo arms. This is an easy conversion for a chaos tech priest. You just gotta put a backpack on him and put a couple put a servo arm on it, and he'll look just like just like a, 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 a dark mechanicus tech priest. I'm actually considering doing that. Just you know, building a simple servo arm out of the back with a little backpack. It wouldn't really add anything. It would just be for effect. Because I'm thinking of making these dark a dark mechanicus cult. But I love the axe. The axe is a very nice design. I also like the little uh, little claws. The claws are pretty cool too. But it, when the well, if if cultists do get power weapons, especially for the cult leader, you know that could easily be power axe. And now for the heavy flamer, which is one of the nice goodies. It's it's the same model as the other as the heavy the heavy stubber, but it has a different weapon and different backpack. And I gotta say, I am very impressed. It's a little blurry, I know, but you know, I just love the design. I love the way it goes together. You know, and there is literally that, that cable. The cable is in two parts. There's one, one part is on the backpack that goes down and around the leg, and then there's another that goes down from the gun. And you know how some some kits have the issue to where the where the plastic bends out of shape when it cools sometimes? I did not have that problem with this. It went together flawlessly. I'm not going to show you all the individual models. Um, I was just showing you the two, the two special ones. And now... I'm going to slide you over. I'm sorry, I hear a buzzing. This is what's sliding. This is the more ranged cultist squad. Here's the cult champion. Personally, he looks like a commissar gone to chaos because he's got that, you know, commissar trench coat jacket thing. Looks like he has a shotgun. Does he have a shotgun? Yep, one chaos cultist champion with shotgun and close combat weapon. But when, you know, of course, if they get power, if they can have a power weapon, that could easily count as a power weapon. It, the sculpt is very nice. You know, he's got, like, carapace boots. He's got carapace boots, grenades on his belt. You know, it's just... And he also has this, uh, like, this Chinese or this Asian-style face mask. I don't remember what it, I don't know what it's called. I'm sure a lot of you. I'm sure if, if anybody knows what's what you know, I'm think what I'm talking about. Please put it down in the comments below, because he he has this uh, Asian style face mask that you would normally see on warriors in old old days. That's a very I love I love this cultist as well. And here is the heavy stubber. It's a very it's a very simple. It's the same body as the as the heavy flamer. You know, it's a very nice, streamlined design. And this is a little teaser. Some people are suspecting this is going to be a teaser. If you look at the back there, let's see if I can do this. There we go, that helps it. If you look at the back there, you see a wrench and a hammer. Could that be a little little uh, Easter, not an Easter egg, but a little uh, teaser for cultists possibly getting a, a repair ability? I don't know. Tell me what you think. And the auto gun design. Oh, this is a guy. There's a gap there. I'm probably gonna fill that. I got. I did. It didn't slide onto the. Uh, the shoulder didn't. The arm didn't slide onto it prop uh, all the way. So I'm gonna have to fill it in. A little shoulder gap there. But the auto gun design is very. I love the design because some of them look like they've been repaired, like this one. There's a there's wrapping around the barrel, and you know it's just it looks like that they've had to maintain it. Here's one with a drum a drum magazine, and then here's with here's with a bayonet attachment or a close combat attachment. You know it doesn't really I don't think it really affects in game. It just counts as if you're hitting him with the with the butt of the with the stock of the gun, but. The 20 cultists you get in this 
kit are just awesome. Now I'm going to show you the Chaos Lord really quick. Try to make him make him focus by putting this quick reference sheet behind him. And ah, sh there we go. That's a little better. This guy has so much detail. The sword didn't go on at the right angle, but you won't be able to tell. It's just when I paint down here, the plastic's touching the knee. So I'm going to have to make sure to put the spray paint on really thin so it doesn't look like it's attached. But it looks like he has a possible demon weapon. Let me see what his actual equipment is. Cranon, the Relentless Chaos Lord. One Chaos Lord armed with Power Sword, Plasma Pistol, Frag, and Crack Grenades. And Cranon has the Aura of Dark Glory that provides him with a 5 plus invulnerable save. Oh wow, that's new. So, well that's pretty much standard. Standard 5 up invuln. But uh, there's just so much detail all around this guy. You know, there's, there's so much detail on the body, I can't even pick it all out. I love the little horns. The sword has a whole bunch of detail. Even the plasma pistol has a ton of detail on it. I'm just amazed. The backpack, every, it's just, it looks like that every little area has so much detail. You know, they even went as far as to pretty much put a giant chaos star on the back where the cape is. And it just flows so nicely. I just can't get over how awesome these guys are. I'm going to move the hell boot to the side so that this will focus a little better. And then there are the Chosen, which are pretty much their elite slot. Basically, they're the Terminator equivalent of the Dark Angels for this set. They have a large range of weapons. There is... Drasnich. Which is, I'm assuming, is this guy, because, you know, he's the more champion-like. He has a power maul, bolt pistol, and bolt gun. Which probably, which pretty much means, if one, just from reading that, they're gonna, they, they, they will be retaining their bolter and their bolt pistol. Considering, well, it's actually on their person. They actually have it on their person now. And then they have the pistol at their side. So pretty much... They're going to keep their, you know, close combat weapon, pistol, and their bolter. So you have a wide range of weapons. And I'm just going to talk about this guy alone. This guy is has a lot of detail, just like the Chaos Lord. All around. It's even so far as there's tentacles on coming out of his back and holding his bolter to his back. It's a little blurry, I know. But I just can't get over it. And the way it goes together is something I've never seen in a GW kit. They changed their molding style for snap togethers just to add more detail. And I know how the, the power maul basically is concussive. Doesn't doesn't hurt initiative. But it has concussive to where any any wounds caused onto a multi-wound model is initiative one until the next combat. As if you bludgeoned them. And then there's the lightning claws, which the lightning claw guy is easily, you know, his own personality. Just looks amazing. And pretty much the way that it was molded, the back, half the shoulder pad, no, just the back, and the top of the arms and the claws were all one piece and we put it together in such a manner that they could pack more detail into this. And then there's the power axe right here. Which power axe, unfortunately, is initiative one, but it does count as a close combat weapon, so you get the extra attack, and you get plus one strength. Is it plus one strength? Where is power axe? Power axe, power axe, power axe. Oh, wrong damn page. Power axe. Yeah, it's plus one strength, AP two, melee unwieldy. Which I looked at the rules and it does not say that, 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 that it does not count as a close combat weapon for the sake of an extra attack. Which I can deal with the power axe. You know, it's... 
I can deal with it. And even then, there's so much detail. And with this guy, the the pistol, the half the shoulder, and the top of the head were all one piece, and it just laid on top of it and lined up so perfectly. There was no deformations at all. And he also has his bolter on his back, held by tentacles. And then for the power fist, power fist guy has so much personality all on his own. He's got his bolter slinged at his side while he's moving. I just can't get over how awesome these are. You know, they, they went so far as to make sure they had all the weapons that were that war gear that they would normally get, the bolter and the pistol and their weapon. Because if you look at the this guy here, he has the pistol at his side and the bolter on his back. I'm not gonna go too much on, too far on in this guy. I'm not gonna go on and on. But it's just grr, I want more! I want more quality like this. You know, I would reconsider I would reconsider just saying screw it and forgive GW for everything. The price increases, you know, because if their models looked like these guys, I would say that they would be worth it. So until they start doing models like this, I wouldn't care if they're snapped together. They need to do this. So now I'm going to move these guys to the side because, well, oh, I got to show you to the uh, two bolter guys, which are which are duplicate. And even then, there's just so much detail packed into it that it's just unbelievable. Their bolters have drum magazines, and they have swords at their side, so they'll get that close combat weapon. So they'll get that close combat weapon. And then they still have the pistol at their side, so they still have all the war gear. I know the quality's crap, but I just want to get these videos out for you guys. Because I know some people are, are wondering where I've been. And now, for the one thing that I drooled over, this monster. This guy is just, I was speechless. I know it's going to sound stupid and awkward, but I had a boner when I was putting this guy together the entire time. This guy is sexy. There, I said it. This guy is sexy. His name is Mortis Metallicus. Hellbrute. He does not have crazed, apparently. Well, that is, it's not said in here. That, that won't, you know, that doesn't really mean anything, because, you know, when they, when they do the starter sets, they leave rules out. So we don't know if this is going to be a replacement to the Dreadnought, or it'll be an additional one on top of the Dreadnought. Because what I've been, what I heard when I got this, is that the Hellbrute will either replace the Dreadnought and take away Crazed, or take Crazed away from the Dreadnought and still include the Dreadnought without Crazed, but have this guy with Crazed. And that's what I'm hearing. But currently, there are no point values for any of these models in, in the starter set that I could find. If anybody, you know, could find, could have found them in the, in the starter set, let me know and where. But, so much detail. And it's a character nonetheless. You know, it's got its own, he's already got a backstory. And, you know, it's just... They blew my mind, pretty much. Even though I did have some trouble with the multi melta it doesn't go on all the way, and there's gonna be a gap. So at the tip of the barrel, put some super glue in there. You know, wipe some away if you need to. So you know, you know, quit, you know, be careful and put put some in between, and then hold the barrel together while holding the shoulder into the body, and it will fix it. There is the tiniest gap going up the, into the shoulder, but once you, once, but it's near not noticeable. And you know, it's just, I love this guy. So much detail. There's even detail in the in the back area, all the way down, 
in the back of the legs. Where there's not detail is there. And my, cam my camera just started another file because it's just went over 20 minutes. But no worries. But it's just mm, so awesome. So I'm going to put all these gays back and give you another overview. And pick you up out here. So this is the Chaos Force. There's a little blurry, a little shaky, but you know, this is my view. The Chaos Cultists are really, you know, most of what makes up this. It's just every single model is so detailed. Every every degree, every every angle you look at it, there's always detail. And I already know how I'm going to paint these guys up. I'm not going to paint them as Crimson Slaughter. They're going to be word bearers. Simply because I don't really see painting these up as Death Guard. They need to be word bearers, in my opinion. So I got this. Wazdaka Red. It's more of a maroonish, but I'm probably going to highlight it with some uh, Privateer Press Score in Red. Or figure out some sort of highlight to make it brighter or darker. So let me know what you think of these. You know, I love these models. <laughs> so I'm gonna hop off of here because, uh, well, I'm already into a second file on this on this camera. Uh, this is Kyle X565 with the new Chaos Space Marine models in the Dark Vengeance starter set. Goodbye.